that. Get the hardware bag. And you're gonna want four M5 by 30 screws and the two M5 by 10. And so now we'll set these over here. Retrieve your gantry piece. And now you want them in here and here. M5 by 30 and hand tight first. Takes it a second because it's press. It's pretty precise on where this needs to go. And we'll get the screwdriver Phillips. X goes right here. X. And then your X in stop goes right in there. Here, click. And then, so that is all of the sensors and everything. And then now we have the gantry or power. Hook that up. So now we have all the wiring harnesses are connected 
all of our end stops, all of our power, everything is good on there. Um, so for the monitor, you're gonna need two M4 by six screws, a touch screen, call it a touch screen. These are good to open this kind of stuff with. <laughs> Those are good for a lot of things. All right, yeah, that's, that's a, <laughs> That is a solid tool yeah. in my arsenal now. I've been using them for wire cutters. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is this is the key. Notice that it is a notched, that is a keyway. And we definitely, definitely, definitely want to make sure that we get it right here into this aux one port. This is, this is pretty important stuff. Um, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna make sure that we have that notch. I'm gonna seat it all the way in there. And then now there's two holes here are four, using four by six screws. And we're going to tighten those down with our Okay, the next step is the spool holder. The spool holder, you wanna make sure that it goes at this angle. You want it to angle away so that the spool uh, can feed properly. And there's two threaded holes in the top. So we'll place that right there. And there, that is the completely assembled Maker 300 printer.